Mycoplasma genitalium has been an extremely difficult organism to diagnose uh, for many, many years. It's been out there, it's just that most people haven't had the tools to diagnose it. But then we applied the tools and we found actually it was pretty high. In some populations it's been anywhere from 5 to 15 per cent. After diagnosis, it was about a week before I realised that the symptoms weren't going away. Then I went to a different clinic and was tested for everything, including MGen. The symptoms that I had ongoing post being diagnosed and treated for chlamydia um, caused a lot of pain, a lot of discomfort and some changes to my bowel habits as well. So they're quite uncomfortable symptoms to be living with for an extended amount of time. And there are many people like him who are sitting out there undiagnosed and incorrectly managed at this point in time. What really convinced me, I think, is seeing the treatment failures, the men coming in with non-gonococcal urethritis, persistent discharge that we just could not treat. In women, uh, it can, it's more serious because you can get ascending infection up into the pelvic area and cause pelvic inflammatory disease. And what we worry about there is chronic pain if it's not treated adequately, and also uh, infertility. Resistance guided therapy, in my view, has been a major game changer, probably I think the most important game changer in the last two or three years in the management of bacterial sexually transmitted infections. You can imagine that's a great advantage to the patient. If the patient comes in, you take your specimen, send it off to our laboratory, and we can say yes, it's MG, and yes, it's sensitive or not sensitive. Use drug A or drug B. I was notified by a sexual partner that uh, there was the possibility that, that I might have MGen. So that was the first time that I had a suspicion and then once those test results came back it then turned out that, that I was indeed positive um, for MGen and also it seemed that I had a resistant form of MGen as well. One of the benefits of getting resistance testing done up front is being able to make sure that I get on the right treatment plan from the start and to make sure that I have the least amount of medical intervention in the shortest time frame possible. This has revolutionised the way we can manage our patients. We can get the patient treated quicker and appropriately with the right drug. And that saves time coming to the clinic, it saves extra testing for the patient and extra costs for the hospital. Retrospectively, it was quite annoying that I had to live with those symptoms for an extra uh, week or two when perhaps if I was tested from the beginning correctly, I wouldn't have had to go through that experience. To combat the threat of untreatable mycoplasma genitalium, we need really to get on top of the cases now. It's really important to diagnose patients, but even more important to give them the right treatment at the earliest opportunity. Mm -hmm.